months ago, I had the privilege of standing at this podium before many of you who are here today. And here's what I said in, in my opening remarks. I'm Bill Osborne, and I want to thank you for being here today for a historic occasion for the long-awaited groundbreaking of the city of Douglasville's new downtown conference center. That was on February 22nd, 2011. Well, here we are June the 15th of 2012 in O'Neill Plaza for another historic occasion for the city of Douglasville and the new downtown conference center. And I'm pleased to have this opportunity to welcome each of you and to thank you for being here today for the topping out celebration. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to uh, do as we did last September. I will ask you to please stand for a word of prayer and then together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. You bow your heads. Father God in heaven, we come to you now in the name of your son Jesus, thanking you for this beautiful day that you've provided for us for this occasion. Lord, I pray a blessing on each of our city officials and county officials and on all the families who are here today. We thank you that we've reached this milestone. We thank you for being uh, with us during this time so that, that we have had a safe construction site and that progress has been continuous. We ask now that you would bless this occasion. We pray for uh, the ongoing work to be completed on time and for us to be able to enjoy this facility. And may we always keep in mind that you're the great builder and maker of everything in which we're involved. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. As we look southward across Church Street, we can see the city's new downtown conference center taking shape. Now, for those of you who are in downtown Douglasville on a regular basis, you'll know that basically every time you come downtown, you can see that there have been visible changes in the construction status of this wonderful facility that Hardin Construction Company uh, has progressed in fulfilling our dream of a modern conference center in the downtown central business district. This will be another anchor for Douglasville for the future. And about seven months, I expect to see most of you back for the third historic occasion, but we're not going to do that here in O'Neill Plaza. Uh, we're not going to be standing here or sitting here at O'Neill Plaza. We're going to be celebrating uh, what already exists, and we're going to be across the street in front of the new conference center or inside the new conference center for the grand opening. So you need to make your reservations for that occasion now. In fact, Marsha Hampton says if you're in the mood to make reservations, that she and her staff will be glad for you to make some reservations for activities and events in the new conference center. We in city government are very excited about today's topping out. We're very excited about the completion of this new focal point for downtown Douglasville. Now, it's my pleasure at this time to introduce two people who will make comments to you before we have the hoisting of the beam. And first, I'm going to introduce William Bill Pinto, president of Hardin Construction Company. I had this pleasure last September and it's great to have another opportunity of introducing Mr. Pinto. He heads one of the premier construction companies for conference centers, major entertainment venues, office complexes, and other signature buildings in this country. I remember Hardin Construction Company as a leader in Atlanta when I was a young man, and I've been aware of them down through the decades. And Bill, uh, last September I told the story of being with a group of people and we were talking about the, this new conference center. And I think I got everybody's attention when I told them that the person that you had placed in charge of this conference center, Alex Henry, was the same man who had just completed being in charge of Hardin's project to build the new Cobb Energy Performing Arts Center. Now, in a few months, we're going to be able to tell those people up in Cobb County that if they want to see a good new project that Hardin has completed. They just need to come on down to Douglasville to our new conference center. Uh, Mr. Pinto, it's great once again to welcome you to the city of Douglasville. Well, 
little shorter. Well, thanks, Bill, and good morning, everyone. Mayor Persons, members of the Douglasville City Council, other elected officials, and guests, it surely is a pleasure to join you this morning, almost this afternoon now. The topping, er the topping out ceremony is an important milestone in the life of a project, but it's a step on the journey. It's, uh, I was talking to some folks earlier, and it's great to celebrate this milestone, and we'll do it with our craftspeople uh, after this ceremony here. Uh, but it's also an encouragement to then energize and go on to the completion. So we celebrate, but then we don't stop. We just keep going. Uh, because obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done. But this marks the completion of vertical construction. The structure for the center and the parking deck are now in place. And we thank you for sharing in this traditional observance and celebration and for your teamwork in moving this project forward. And I'd like to point out, if you have not signed the beam, it's over here to the left. No, it's gone. Our crane's got it. So you can't sign the beam to go up. But I do encourage you to go over there to watch that beam go up and wonder where your name might have been. <laughs> and you can tell people you signed it. They won't know. I'd like to recognize some of the folks that have been involved in getting us to this point and will be involved in getting us to completion. Uh, our Harden team, uh, my partner, uh, Brantley Bear, our chairman, is here. And the team uh, directly involved in the site, Alex Henry, Jurgen Cole, Tom Montagna, Bill Smeltzer, and our project exec who had to be out of town today, Steve Bachman. Thanks to my Harden team. I'm, I'm biased about those guys and gals and... Uh, but they do wonderful work, and I hope you appreciate that as well. I'd like to recognize our, our architectural firm, uh, Rabin Rache, Rector Reese, and Mark Reese is here today representing them. We couldn't do it without uh, our architects and consultants. And our city of Douglasville representatives, of course, Bill Osborne, Jeff Knowles, Marsha Hampton. You've been true professionals and a pleasure to work with. And I've got to mention the staff of the city has just been outstanding and whatever we need, they're there to help us. And hopefully uh, it's mutual and we're helping you wherever you need that as well. As I said, after lunch, we're gonna meet with our craftspeople and celebrate with them. A lot of hard work has gone into this. And most importantly, what I'll talk about uh, to our folks over there is the safety record on this project. Safety is always job one, to steal a Ford phrase. Uh, it's important to us that, that all the folks on our job go home the way they came. They've got families, and it's not just about them, it's about their families as well. And we've got a great safety record on this job. In approximately 40,000 craft hours so far on this job, we've had one minor reportable injury and that's a, that's an excellent uh, statistic and uh, we'll be thanking those fellows guys and gals over there when we get over there so from a safety standpoint please let's congratulate those folks so let me give you a very brief project update the entire project is about 60% complete construction-wise. What will be going on over the next several months is we'll be enclosing the building. The brick veneer will be going on. We'll be framing interior walls. We'll be roughing in the interior with mechanical, electrical plumbing. All that will be happening behind the scenes. I know uh, once the building is enclosed, everybody that walks by will say, gee, when is it going to open? It must be ready to open. It looks finished. There's a lot of work that goes on inside. Um, so you may not see us outside so much, but we'll be inside. 
One other thing we're proud of is when we started this project, we had committed to a 20% goal uh, for local participation. And I'm proud to say that, that currently we're sitting at 22%. So we've achieved and surpassed our goal and thanks to the team. And another early commitment we made was to get involved in your community. And uh, I think we've accomplished that and we'll continue to do that. We've, we've sponsored the Taste of Douglasville. Uh, we've done oh, uh, Douglas County Chamber of Commerce luncheon. And our crews, I'm told, uh, spend a fair amount of time at the weekly farmer's market. So thank you for your hospitality and welcoming us to the community. In closing, the City of Douglasville Downtown Conference Center will be a wonderful addition not only to our portfolio, but to the City of Douglasville and the surrounding area. You've been a great client. We appreciate your confidence in us uh, to be your contractor. And we look forward to being back here, or back there, uh, towards the end of the year and celebrate a great grand opening. So thank you very much. It's now my pleasure to uh, introduce the mayor of the city of Douglasville. <clears throat> Harvey Persons, as you know, has been the mayor since 1st of January. Prior to that time, he had served on the city council many, many years ago. In fact, I first met uh, Mayor Persons when he was on the city council and I was working as a consultant to the city of Douglasville. Uh, later, there was a vacancy to be city manager uh, and there was a choice between myself and another gentleman uh, and by a 4-3 vote, I was selected to be the city manager and I've always been indebted to uh, Harvey Persons and three other people because without their votes, I wouldn't be here. Uh, and then, of course, uh, he was elected uh, mayor, uh, and this conference center is something that he's had a great deal of interest in, and I'm going to call Mayor Persons to come up. He will uh, make his comments, including uh, calling uh, attention, introducing some of our special guests today. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Osborne, and Bill makes reference to that uh, vote several times. I've heard him over the past say that, and it depends on the group that he's talking to. If it's something that's positive, then I get to take the credit for it. But if it's something that's negative, then I get the blame for it. So, but I think we made a very wise decision back, uh, what's it been now, Bill, 22 about 22 years ago, and getting Bill Osborne as a city manager. He does an excellent job, and the hours and the time that he puts in is, is tremendous, but thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Pinto, I want to thank you for your remarks and your comments, and I'd like to specifically talk to one of them, if I, may, if I may, about the beam. And he was talking about the beam, and if you didn't get an opportunity to sign it, that it's already gone. And before we got started, I was having some conversations with Miss Hampton and uh, Miss Russell, who works with uh, Harden, and they were talking about the beam and getting ready to hoist it. And I looked at them and I said, "Where's the beam?" And you could see just the blood drain from their face. And uh, I said, "Well, you know, I haven't, I haven't had an opportunity to sign it yet." And uh, I don't know if Miss Russell's still here or not, but she turned pale. And, uh, and Marsha's over there. She's about to crack up. She's going, he's kidding, he's kidding. So, but uh, I think everybody hopefully had an opportunity to sign the beam. But Mr. Pinto, thank you for your remarks, and it truly has been a, a pleasure to collaborate with you and Harden Construction, Rayburn Architects, and Rayburn Architects on such a momentous occasion for the city of Douglasville. I also want to thank the community that's been involved and getting this project to this point. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to help celebrate the topping off today because truly it is a momentous occasion. And like Mr. Pinto said, it's uh, the end of the 
vertical construction of the building. So it's always a very uh, exciting moment. It's a ceremonial moment, and it's something that is celebrated uh, with most construction projects, especially anything that's very large and vertical that's going up. Uh, but also, it's truly been a collective effort of a lot of people working together to get it to this point. It's been the community, it's been current and past elected officials, uh, the community as a whole, construction teams, city staff. There's just been a tremendous amount of effort that has brought us to this point. And I want to thank each and every one that's been involved in that. And without everybody's efforts and participation, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today. So I commend you, thank you, and appreciate the efforts that everyone's put forth to get us to this point. At this time, I'd like to recognize some of the elected officials that are here and thank them for being here. I saw Commission Chair Tom Wortham. I think he's back in the back. Uh, thank you for coming, Chairman. We appreciate it. Uh, we had our sheriff. I saw Sheriff Miller was here a little earlier. Somebody said somebody had to go lock somebody up or something. But uh, anyway, he was here. We appreciate him being here. We have Mayor Pro Tem Larry Yaki. See, I saw him here earlier. He's back there in the back. Oh, he and the chairman are back there under a shade tree. So I was looking for one while ago. I have a little problem when it gets a little too warm sometimes. But... Uh, but uh, we're glad to have you here. We have uh, council person LaShawn Burdanley. I saw her earlier. Don't know if she's still here. We have councilman Carl Pope. See councilman Pope over here and his lovely bride. Glad to have you with us. We have a uh, former mayor pro tem or mayor Mickey Thompson. He's back in the back. I think he's also under the shade tree. So uh, also we have former Mayor Pro Tem John Schrildorf and his lovely bride here also. So we're glad to have all of you here. Like I said, it truly is a collective effort of a lot of people working together, both past, present, and moving forward to make a project like this be successful. We also have, uh, as I've introduced earlier, our uh, city manager, Mr. Bill Osborne, and we also have with us the county administrator, uh, Mr. Eric Linton. Glad to have you with us today, too. Thank you for coming. And as the construction of this project continues, our staff is diligently working hard at fine-tuning the operation of the facility so that we open the when we open the doors, we're ready for business. There's a lot that goes into not only getting the building ready, building it, but you've got to make sure that when you do cut the ribbon, open the doors, that it is ready and a lot of efforts going into that. It's an ongoing work in progress, and I want to thank staff for what all they're doing to see that when we do cut that ribbon, and hopefully all of you will be here, uh, we'll be ready for business. Uh, with the consistent communications with the city and our downtown businesses, we have been able to avoid basically any disruption to downtown business and our downtown special events. You don't see the behind the scenes that goes into it, but it doesn't just happen. There's a lot of hard work by staff and city employees to make this as seamless as possible. When I first heard about the project and talked about building a 35,000 square foot facility over here right across from City Hall and thinking that, you know, we're still going to be able to do business, we're still going to have people to be able to park, have downtown events, I thought, you know, how can that be? One of the things that I found fascinating with that also, it, it, I think we're already beyond that, Mr. Pinto, but at one time there was, a, I believe, a 20-day period, four consecutive weeks, that there were going to be 10 large uh, trucks a day coming into the city. Think about that. 10 large trucks a day hauling uh, erection steel and prefab walls Ten a day for four consecutive weeks. That's that's two. My math correct. That's what two hundred trucks, and I, I I really didn't see them, and it really didn't disrupt city activity. So I think that's a tremendous accomplish, accomplishment uh, for Harden as well as city staff that helped coordinate that and make that happen. And we appreciate it. Uh, we'll be opening. 
our downtown parking deck in September for all visitors, employees, and business owners to downtown, and shortly thereafter, we're looking forward to opening the doors to our downtown new conference center. In just a few minutes, as I said when I started, we'll top out the uh, facility and move forward. I know that's the, the part that you're all looking forward to, not sitting here listening to me talk, so I'm about through. But uh, once again, I want to thank the city of Douglasville staff that have helped coordinate this effort. I want to thank past and current elected officials that have been involved in the process. I want to thank Rayburn and Associates and Hardin Construction for making this day possible, and we look forward to... Uh, the coming days when we'll be able to open the parking deck and then to be able to open this great facility that a lot of people have put a lot of hard work in. Now I want to turn over the program to Hardin Construction for the ceremonial hoisting of the beam. <laughs> 